Hello, and welcome to this year's introductory talk for ProgPAL 2020. My name's Andy, and I'm going to give you an example of how a four-minute lightning talk might look, introducing the University of Leeds and this year's committee. So a bit about where your hosts are currently based. The University of Leeds is a Russell Group University situated in West Yorkshire in the north of England. It was originally founded as the University of Leeds in 1904. Currently, Leeds is the fourth biggest university in the UK, with a total of 36,250 students. Based in the School of Earth and Environment, Paleo at Leeds is a research group with a diverse portfolio covering much of the Phanerozoic and incorporates a mix of geochemistry, biogeographic modelling, macro and micro paleontology, as well as much, much more. The members of this year's committee have all been involved with this group's activities, so without further ado, let's introduce the team. First up, we've got Bethany Allen, the driving force behind our ProgPAL 2020 bid. She's currently in her final year of a PhD, and when she's not doing that, she's getting involved with outreach activities, baking some phenomenal treats for the office, or doing some extreme Zumba. She's the committee's fearless leader, and has been responsible for the transition to the online format. Adam Woodhouse is the next of our motley crew, pictured here above an actual research vessel. You may have heard he went to sea. He's a final year PhD student and fellow micropaleontologist. He'll be co-hosting this year's quiz all the way from New Zealand. Some of you in the UK might even recognise him from his TV career, where he starred on the art show Smart. Next we've got myself. I'm Andy Mayer, another final year PhD student and another micropaleontologist. When I'm not being a disembodied presenter voice, I enjoy growing whatever plants I can on my balcony and the odd fine beverage watching my beloved Liverpool football club. Continuing on, we've got Connor, who's currently finishing his second year of his PhD, exploring OAE conundrums. A couple of fun facts. Connor's skills outside of academia include an extensive knowledge of mixology, and at the age of seven, Connor was dropped off by a helicopter on a remote Swiss glacier. He's not told us yet how he got back. Grace is another micropaleontologist on the committee, and is in her second year of her PhD, studying interactions between ecological and morphological changes of neogene clavet plankton forearms. In her spare time, Grace enjoys scuba diving, and has swam with ragged tooth sharks, whale sharks, and humpback whales. Our sixth committee member, and final micropaleontologist, I promise, is Frances. She's a first year PhD student using proxies to understand South Atlantic circulation. Frances has been organising the careers panel for this year's conference, and in her spare time has taken up ballet, even buying her own bar to practice at home. Elsa is also a first year PhD student, looking at nutrient cycling and shallow sea oxygenation from the latest Triassic and into the early Jurassic. She's been helping with the social media for this year's event and will be posting as we go. Elsa recently confessed to the committee that she's been suffering from a shortbread addiction during lockdown. We've all been there. Carolina is our eighth committee member. She's been completing her integrated masters in zoology and has recently handed in her dissertation looking at ecological interactions underpinning coral reef ecosystem stability. In her spare time, Carolina has assisted on Paleo at Leeds outreach events, is an avid rock climber, and another committee scuba specialist. Last, but certainly not least, is Owen. He's currently completing his undergraduate masters and is in his second year. He's previously worked at the Sedgwick Geology Museum in Cambridge and has his own collection of skulls. Prior to the pandemic, Owen could reliably be found in the nearest mosh pit. However, social distancing has made this rather more tricky. And that's the team. I hope you've enjoyed this brief introduction and we really wish we could have welcomed you all to Yorkshire. However, we are all really looking forward to hosting you virtually and hearing some fantastic paleo research. From all of the committee, we hope you have a fantastic prog pal.